Check it. All right, guys, what is up? You are back for another video with Data Zero. In this video, we look at AMC stock, our favorite meme stock. I'm gonna look at the smaller time frames, letting you guys know what's going on with the support resistance levels. I have two predictions for you guys, letting you guys know what is up on the bull side and the bear side. Also, guys, I appreciate each and every one of you that's been dropping love, showing comments, and subscribing. The channel is growing like crazy. You guys are awesome. And I need to know, do you guys like my overall market updates, my broader market updates, where I talk about SPY, uh, cryptocurrency, other meme stocks like GameStop, BBBY, and do of the broader markets? Let me know in the comments, and I will drop more of those videos. But again, we are looking at AMC on the smaller time frame, the larger time frame, and giving you guys some perspectives. Without wasting any more time, let's go ahead and hop in the charts, the facts, the data and see what we have going on what is up you are back for another video with data zero today we're going to look at amc and i have two predictions for you guys i got to keep it real got to keep it 100 we got a bearish prediction for you guys and we got a bullish prediction for you guys i think the bullish prediction is going to play out but guys we have to be worried about this bear case because the technicals are telling me that this downside move could continue if we do not hold this crucial five 50 level but let's go ahead and get the charts and see what we have going on so guys i want to hop into the fundamental data real quick and show you guys they have 300,000 shares available to borrow and cost to borrow and short interest is coming down just a slight bit now again metrics are extremely high still cost to borrow sitting at 143 percent on average short interest sitting at 25.95 percent short interest again it was at 26 percent so we are seeing a slight decrease in short interest but still extremely high metrics for a short squeeze and if you look guys we also are seeing that the cost of borrow dropping is allowing them to get a little bit more short sales a little bit more easily a little bit more readily available but guys i would not fret i would not worry we are in this for squeeze or zero just be ready to sell when the time comes now let's go ahead and check out the case that we are looking at for the bear case or the bear case and the bull case now for the bull case to play out we need to hold 550 i'm going to explain how i got to these predictions using technical analysis and the technicals or the fundamentals and the indicators so guys you can see that we're getting this bounce right here as you guys can see bouncing off the 550 and we have a possible double bottom forming right here the second bottom would be slightly lower we are seeing this first candle which could have this double bottom play out off of this 550 level and that could take us all the way back up to six dollars six dollars six dollars and twenty cents now we want to see amc get above six dollars that is a key crucial level once we get above six dollars you can see this thing start to get a lot of action a lot of momentum and then we could head to that golden zone of eight to twelve dollars where they desperately need to keep us below because they are highly underwater at those levels and amc starts to make big jumps because little support and resistance so as you guys can see we have the bull case if we hold that 550 level we could get this bounce putting us all the way up back to that six dollar and twenty cent level and again i would expect it to play out over the next couple of days as you guys see here one two three four five days maybe a little bit sooner but i do expect this to actually happen why because we have this buy signal here on the four hour telling us that we could get bullish momentum back to the upside we also have on the one hour time frame a potential bullish cross in play so these are things we have to take a look at but we also have to take a look at these other indications telling us that we could have bearishness in our future let's go ahead and pop on the alligator to see what kind of momentum this move has to the downside now as you guys can see it has a ton of momentum as of now but the bands are slowly curling right now to the upside on the two hour time frame you guys can see that this move still possibly has a lot of momentum so if we do not get this bounce here get this bullish cross on the two hour time frame and the one hour time frame you could see more potential downside and that's why i had to make this bear case scenario because that would put us breaking out of this rising wedge as you guys can see on the bigger macro pattern about the the weekly time frame as you guys can see we have been in this overall uptrend all the way from three dollars all the way up to six we have literally just been trending up 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 so what i'm expecting to happen if we break out of this wedge to come back down 
and retest the $5 and $4.80 resistance and support. Now, I do expect it to get a strong bounce off of that resistance and support. I do not expect it to come crashing back down like most people expect. The way that we check support and resistance on this run up is telling me that we have very, very strong support at these levels now the way that we're reacting to 550 when we come back down bouncing off of these levels not just crashing back down is telling me we have strong support and amc is building a base to bring us up to higher levels this is exactly what you want to see testing support and resistance i know it's boring i know it's disheartening but that's the only way we can get to these bigger moves it is the only way that these bigger macro patterns can play out is when you have these little movements slowly building you up so you can see a new uptrend a bullish trend starting in amc which i do think is coming as you guys can see on the monthly time frame which does not give false signals you can see we are about to get a monthly cross to the bull side telling us that amc is going in a overall bullish uptrend on the bigger time frames the bigger moves when in doubt zoom out so this is what i'm looking at on the macro time frame again on the weekly time frame looking extremely good green weekly macd bollinger bands constricting telling us volatility is coming for this particular stock let's go ahead and get back on the micro letting you guys know what's happening for thursday friday and wednesday so if we do see that downside, I would be expecting us to get a bounce here at the $5 level, possibly get a bounce to the upside. And then if we do not get back above $5, like go ahead and test, let's say $5.50 again, hit our head on $5.50. So again, this is extremely bearish case because we could go back down to 4 to 5 dollars and get the bounce and continue up from there but this is the bear scenario so i had to have a bearish mindset so we go ahead and hit the five dollar resistance come back down retest this 480 level and then get a very strong bounce to the upside off of that level up trending for the next couple of days the same way that we trended from three dollars will basically be trending from that level up trending for several days bringing us above six dollars so either way this plays out i do see a bright side in amc's future i do see this uptrend that we are seeing coming to fruition and as you guys can see amc has been in a uptrend as you guys can see this is a total uptrend amc could come all the way down to four dollars and sixty cents and still be in a uptrend as you guys can see this is a 10 degree angle we are in an uptrend at a 17 degree angle at this time and we were at an uptrend on a 25 degree angle at one point absolutely about to go parabolic when that was getting extremely hype around the six dollar and 20 cent level if we could have broke that level we could have seen some extreme action for amc but do not worry our test of 601 is coming the next battle will be happening and we will be there to see it so guys Either way that this happens, the bear case or the bull case, I see a bright side in AMC's future. I do see in the overall macro and uptrend. Again, the daily can get you worn out it, day by day. Watching this thing can get you really worn out. Sometimes you have to take a break, take a step back, just to let your portfolio rock. Your shares will be there. Put a notice on, say AMC will be here at $20. Put a notice on for $20. Put a notice on for $50. Let your broker let, tell you when it's hitting those numbers and come back if you need to. If it's getting that frustrating to you, just take a step back because this day to day can definitely get a hold of you, especially if you do not know what is going on on the day to day basis and with the technical analysis. And able to read the charts and the data as clearly as i so guys this is what i'm looking at for amc again this could be a bullish type scenario as you guys can see overall bull flag type scenario as you guys can see if this pattern did extend to the downside so i'd have these two scenarios for you as well but i'm going to go ahead and describe this as well as you guys can see this kind of makes a uh falling wedge which is a bullish uptrend for a bullish continuation pattern so this uh falling wedge could play out as well and if that were to play out again, you would see a bounce to the upside. I'll go ahead and show you guys what that would look like as well. If we were to see this falling wedge play out, it would look something like this. We'd see a bounce to the upside. So again, I do see AMC bouncing to the upside, but this we could have short-term downside for the rest of the week if we do not get this bounce at $5.50. So I want you guys to be very, very aware of that. I want to be very clear. If we do not hold our key levels at $5.50, we will see downside either coming back down to this $5.20 level, which would be perfect for this falling wedge to come back down to there and then just get a strong spring off of that, launch the upside, retest the $6.20 support, boom, launch the upside. That is a definitely possible scenario. And this is what I'm looking at for AMC. So guys, I hope this helped. I hope this video was informative. 
I hope this gives you some clarity. Um, overall, that's pretty much everything I have for you. Again, MACD could be getting this bullish cross. We were out, we we're outside of the band slightly here on the uh, four-hour time frame as well. That's something to keep in uh, mind. So we could get a strong bounce off of these levels. Again, getting that double bounce type scenario, keeping us inside of this overall rising wedge that you guys see here. Again, starting to make a uptrend, and we have been in an uptrend ever since three dollars. AMC is looking really good in my personal opinion again when you have to sometimes win and doubt zoom out also i wanted to point this out as well i don't know if you guys can see it um i can't draw lines on the rsi but if you guys look at the four hour rsi it's kind of forming a falling wedge as well so this is a falling wedge just kind of use your imagination and follow my arrows if you drew a trend line from there and then a trend line from here so that'd be a falling wedge as you guys can see and that would mean our side is going to pop to the upside, which means we would be actually running to the upside because we would be going to the overbought area, which means the stock would be getting bought up. So again, there's a very strong chance that we get this double bottom right here um, off of this 550 level and just shoot for the stars, something like this, as you guys can see, maybe get some rejection off of the $6 level again, then come back down and come back up to retest that $6.20 level, maybe even surpassing that on our second test. So again, this double bottom is potentially playing out. This would be a triple bottom eventually if it did play out like that. So this is your one, this is your two, and this is your three if that did play out. Um, so a triple bottom type scenario if this double bottom continues to play out and we get rejection at $6 again. Or we could see more downside. Again, I say that because of the indicators on there as well. I want to keep you guys um, aware of this. As you guys can see, we have the alligator showing that this move could have possible momentums. But there are more indications that we are going to get this bounce, this double bottom here, and start traveling to the upside than seeing downside. I just wanted to make you guys aware of the downside so you are able to identify if it happens and no support resistance levels where i'm looking at as well but guys i think honestly we're probably going to get this double bottom and start heading back to the upside staying in this rising wedge and keeping this overall uptrend again we didn't even test this trend line here as you guys can see this is a overall uptrend of the trend line we didn't even come down and test that that's at about five dollars and 40 cents here so we could get a bounce off of that as well there's a lot of things that could make us bounce to the upside so i am still extremely bullish on amc even if we did see an extreme bear case like i predicted here but guys i think honestly this is going to happen right here this double bottom triple bottom type setup so guys hopefully you found this video hopefully it was informative hopefully it's all good for you and you had a great day guys i really appreciate each and every one of you that shows love in the comments join my discord if you want to hear about my stocks trades crypto all day long i talk about it all day long and i have a great community there we talk about our stocks trades all day long post them post gains post losses you are welcome to the community so come if you want to talk about amc it's absolutely free link down in the comment section description below and guys as always have fun stay safe make money peace out all right guys that was the video if you'd like to go ahead and press subscribe for more content like this and remember you can check me out on twitter and discord for even more data zero updates i talk about my stocks cryptos trades all day long so if you find it interesting come join the community you are welcome there and as always guys i appreciate each and every one of you that watches to the end of the video it truly means the world to me and as always have fun stay safe make money peace out